Hey everybody, it's Siddiqui Soul Ray and Elfie here. Elfie, are you giving mama a kiss? How are you on this uh, Tuesday? It's Tuesday, so let me just get right to it. I am so excited. I am writing a memoir about my life, my experience all over the world. And um, Elfie, are you in the memoir? I don't know. You're not in the memoir yet. I'm going to have to write you in. Um, and I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting focused. And so I am going to go find my friend, Deb. Debbie, Debbie Doshinger. She's an amazing, amazing, amazing um, book coach. She's a mentor. She's a dear friend. And Debbie knows how to kick some serious booty and get people in line and get them writing books. So it's kind of like, remember back in the day where we had Mr. Rogers and he would have guests over Mr. Green Jeans and all that. That's what this is gonna be like. So I'm Mr. Rogers and I'm gonna go find Mr. Green Jeans. Hold on, let me just see how we do this on Facebook. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. I know you're out there, Debbie. Where are you? Invite a friend, let me invite her. Debbie. D-E-B-B. -B. Have you guys done this before? Inviting a friend? So fun. I'm inviting a friend to come talk to me. Okay. So. We'll see if we can get her on here. Um, you'd read that. Sarah, thank you so much for saying that. Yeah. You know what, I've been writing it for a year, but so far it's just like I have a super shitty first draft. Hey Garth, Garth, family, childhood friend, how are you? Debbie, okay Debbie, good. So Debbie, I'm going to invite you. Um, Let's see if that works. Invite Debbie, yep, invite Debbie, here we go, here we go. Debbie, 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 Debbie. Come on Debbie, come on Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, Dasha, you are with us. Oh my, God, oh my God, can you believe it? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, this is so exciting. So Debbie, here's my dilemma. Your I'm, dilemma. I'm Mr. Rogers, you're Mr. Green Jeans today. And my, my dilemma is, is that I've been writing this memoir for like, I think it's actually two years. I what I'm calling the super shitty first draft. And I just can't, <laughs> I know you must hear this all the time. I am not getting it done. So I'm coming to you, I'm bowing before you as the book mentor <laughs> guru. And I'm asking you, can you help me? Can you help me get this book done so I can get it out in the world? You know what? Mm. I don't need it to be an international bestseller. I don't, I don't need it to be fancy. I just need to get it done so that like I can get my stories out into the world, get onto stages, speak, and that people can be like, okay, I want to hear more of your stories. And I can be like, here's my book. So tell me, talk to me. Absolutely. So totally. So just getting your book done, that's the right first step before looking out of, of, to the world and what's possible, because there's a lot possible. And I have some questions for you. So you said two years, memoir, tell truth, what is getting in your way? Is it about completion? Is it about the state of the book? Is it fill in the blank? Well, I think it's that I don't really see myself as a writer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I love speaking to people. I would rather be up on stage telling the stories. I'm visual. So when it actually comes down to sitting and writing, um, all of a sudden the house needs to be cleaned or Elfie needs to go for a walk or I'm really hungry. I think I've gained like 10 pounds trying to write this book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can anybody out there in Facebook land, land relate? Raise your hand if you can relate to like, I've gained 10 pounds trying to write a book. <laughs> well, you know, I can relate to this. So perfect question. And I really appreciate that you said that exactly as you did. Because my story is actually that in the beginning, I had a lot of people come to me about writing a book. And I'm like, not a writer, not a writer, not a writer, not a writer. I was very clear I was not a writer. 
So I went to a writing class and something came outside of me that really surprised me. So fast forward to my first book, you know, that's, that's very tough and understandable. So I want to say this to you. It's okay to not be a writer. What if it was okay to not be a writer, to not be John Irving, to not be whomever you might put in there that you love to read, that you're not Joan Collins, you know, or Jack David Sedaris. I love David exactly. Sedaris. Exactly. You know? Or August and and Burroughs. Exactly. Yeah. And everybody out there can fill in the blank. What is it that makes you hesitate? Because truthfully, we could have that in any component in our life, whether it's speaking, I'm not as great as, I'm doing radio, whatever it is. So just take that off the table. So what if you didn't have to be a writer? Okay. Okay. And what if you just got to be you? Because what's amazing about who you are and who each of us is, is that we're very quirky. We have really interesting points of view. We've each had a really interesting life. And we're going to have a really interesting way to express it. Now, here's the great news. Once you have expressed it onto paper or computer, there are things called editors. And we hire <laughs> them. <laughs> Because they are phenomenal at cleaning up our shit. So we go <laughs> with the pen and there's all okay. this stuff and an amazing editor goes in and goes, awesome. I totally get your, believe it or not, I waded through all of this and I totally get it. Okay. Hire me. I'm going to clean this up. So all the spelling is great. The punctuation is great. And your thought form, your arc is perfect through the book. Okay. And here's another thing. Once you have written your book, I recommend that you read it out loud, especially for somebody like you, for all of us. When we read our book, it's, it's first of all, it's kind of an amazing emotional thing because it's the first time we're hearing our book come to life. And then you actually get to also be the reader. Mm -hmm. So you're absorbing an audible book and it's your book. Right. And when that happens, we immediately know Anything that needs to be changed. I mean, first of all, there's great appreciation for what we've created, probably yeah. for the first time. And then there's this other part that's a good director that can see all pieces and says, oh, that's kind of cool. But I might change the flow and change these chapters or, you know, that paragraph's not so needed. It actually was explained before. Or there is a paragraph that's needed because this is a little confusing. You get to hear for after your first draft the music, if you will of the song you've just written in a book, and then you know musically what needs to be changed, altered, what is harmonic, what is perfect, what is dissonant, what, and all of that. So I would recommend that you commit. I am not a writer, and I'm a great expresser. And That's I'm just going to you know, make a pact. You can make it with me and with all of us right now. Okay. How much realistically can you do every week Every week. Well, I write as it is. I write about five hours a week. I could probably double that easily if I let myself off the hook and didn't think that I had to become the next Augustine Burroughs or David Sedaris. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So my next question is, because I, I think accountability is powerful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will be your accountability partner. Will you post on Facebook every time you write. Yeah. And I don't mean it has, doesn't have to be a big ta-da because I don't want any pressure on you. I want it to just be like, I wrote for this much today. And will you agree to write for at least eight hours a week? Yes. And what about this? What if I read one of my chapters once a week on Facebook Live? What if you did and you got feedback? How powerful would that be? Yeah, I mean, why not get it early and often? <laughs> why wait for the critics or whomever? Like, why not just start telling the, why not leak the stories? And uh, I got one thumbs up, yay! You know, why not just start doing, like, live readings of it and then get people's feedback? And for people out there who are uh, watching you right now, you know, this is called brainstorming. Yeah. And if you're crazy creative off the charts like Siddiqui is. <laughs> With the emphasis on the crazy. <laughs> they know me. They're all my friends. They know. 
There's not one person that I've seen a name pop up that doesn't know how crazy creative I am. Yeah, okay. I just see a, like, a lot of loves and wows, and, and I love that. And I just want to say, look, for all of us who are sensitives and very creative, and I own that too, the worst thing we can do, like if you're trying to write a book and you find yourself stuck, is stay here. Because mm -hmm. we are the perfect hamsters in a wheel. Like, we'll never get out of our own way, thinking... Try, and, you know, we'll just keep going around. But as creatives, as sensitives, the greatest gift we can give ourselves is to speak out loud. Yeah. Whatever the, the issue is, especially in a forum like this where you can brainstorm, because once the dam opens, the creativity just keeps going. So you already just came up with an amazing uh, compliment and resolution. So you're going to write at least eight hours a week. If you do more fabulous, you are going to on Facebook. You're going to let y'all know. Let everybody know and tag me. I'm going to read written. it once a week. And you're going to do a Facebook live and talk about, look, how beautiful and transparent is that too? What a gift that is to everybody to go, hey man, I'm scared as shit. I'm writing this book. I feel like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm going to read you chapter five. <laughs> And if you have feedback at the end, please be kind and, you know, help me move forward so I can create this into something. If I'm putting this kind of time into it, I want to feel really proud of it. I want it to yeah. really represent me, what I want to put out in the world, which, of course, you will anyway. Yeah. You're a photographer, yeah. you know, you, you know beauty and you know aesthetics, so of course the book will be fabulous. And I will help you with that, too. So anyway... That is a great question. And for anybody out there who's thinking, I'm not a writer, cool. I have felt the same way. And I put out three books that are international bestsellers. I've contributed to 12 best-selling anthologies. I've written for magazines, blogs. I still don't think I'm a writer. But I don't let it stop me. So don't let it stop you. Well, now I have a question. So the minute I, people are like, what are you up to? And I'm like, I'm writing this memoir. And I see Bethany Kelly on here who owns a company called Publishing Partners. And she, two years ago, she helped me start this project. And the first thing that people ask me, Debbie, is um, who's going to publish it for you? Are you going to publish it yourself? And you mentioned an editor earlier. And, um, and you mentioned paying an editor. And right away, I'm thinking like, oh, my God. You know, and I've gotten quotes from editors and it's like $6,000. So should I start a GoFundMe campaign for people to <laughs> donate to? <laughs> um, you know, and, and honestly, again, like I said at the beginning of this, I don't, I haven't thought ahead, like, would I love it to be published with Hay House or whatever? Of course. But um, is that something that one should be, now I'm, now I'm thinking like globally of all the other people out there that might be writing books should we be worried from the get-go of how it's going to be published? Or at this point, should I just keep writing and writing until, until I'm done writing? At what point does one go to an editor? At what, at what point does one start thinking about those things? Or should I just be writing? Well, you should be terrified. For I sure. am terrified. I was terrified to do this. I mean, I could burst <laughs> into tears right now, but I'm going to try to do one Facebook Live where I don't actually cry. <laughs> We're going to laugh through this one. Well, okay, all super good questions. So let me separate them for a second. Okay. There is actually a timeline that's good for writers. And there is a time when you'll need to hand it over to an editor. You don't necessarily have to pay $6,000. You can write to me. I will recommend someone I send all my clients to. I think she's um, very well priced. And um, yeah, and it depends on how many pages you have and the condition of your book and all of that. And of course, yes, who you hire. Here's what I suggest. So we're just going to back it up to the book portion. It's really good for you, I feel, as the author to have, I don't, I don't like to use the word control, but to have your creative pause in the book for a little bit. So once you have fully completed your first draft, like I said, you want to read it out loud so you get the musicality of your book and you start to know, first of all, you'll know you have a book and then you'll be able to know juxtaposition, anything that needs to be changed and rearranged and you'll do that, right? But this is getting easy because the, the manuscript is basically done. Then once you've gone in and you've done that, you've made any changes, edits uh, taken out, 
uh, shifted things or something was needed. So don't get upset, but you're going to read it out loud again. <laughs> you really must. And then you'll know where you're at. Maybe you'll have a few more changes at that point, and that's okay. Institute all those changes. At this point, generally around your second to third draft, you can start to feel like this is becoming finalized for you. It is my recommendation at this point that you look for a great editor. You can talk to a bunch of them. Look, they're looking for work like everybody else and get recommendations from people. And you can let them know, look, I, I would love to spend this much money and I need a turnaround of about this much time or maybe you have no turnaround at all. It's like, yeah, whenever they're done, if they're done in two months, three months, that's great. Uh, some people need a rush job. So it depends how busy they are, uh, but you do want to hire your editor. Like I said, they make our books beautiful and golden. And then as far as publishing, now there may be people of other points of view about this, but I, but, <laughs> however, I've been in the business a long time. I've been doing this for eight years. So what is this? Because some people are like, who is this woman? <laughs> yeah, who is, who is her? <laughs> who is her Debbie? <laughs> so ha Debbie, Debbie Dashinga, I'm a visibility expert, and this is what I do out in the world. I'm a visibility expert, and I teach people, I coach people privately how to do their books, how I, people bring me their books, and I turn their books into international bestsellers, and I also work with people, how do you use media for free? How are you a savvy media person getting tons of interviews, a press media kit, coaching, all of that stuff. So you can see like, this is my deal. But here's, I'm, I'm not one of those people who is, um, they teach because they can't do. I actually do both sides. So I have a radio show. I interview people all the time. I've been on air for 10 years. It's award-winning, syndicated, etc. I'm also interviewed. I've been on over 800 media outlets. Camera work, I do red carpet interviews. I teach people how to do that. So, you know, I write books, I coach the book. So this is what I'm saying by visibility. This is my sweet spot. This is what I came here to do is mass communication, period. So in my personal interesting point of view, I recommend that first timers keep it simple. Book virgins, book virgins, simple. keep it simple. Hashtag I, book virgins, keep it simple. Okay. That's right. Keep it Tweet simple. That. Like if you have a lot of money, honestly, and there are people out there who probably do, and you are like, oh, I really want to have a publishing company. And I, because they're expensive, by the way. It's very expensive these days. The whole industry has changed. So you pay somebody to do your book for you. And there is no marketing generally for you, whatever that price is. So you're still, you've got a book and often part of that deal is they will say, and you have to buy this many books. So you also have the price tag of whatever, a thousand, 10,000, 5,000 books. And I hope you have a lot of closet space or you're speaking a hell of a lot. And people I are do buying. not have a lot of closet space. It's a real issue in my current. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So I recommend, here's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Amazon is fabulous. Create space through Amazon is print on demand. That's your print book. KDP is Kindle. That's your ebook. You put it up there. I would say your first, second book, I would do that way. If you find Lord Jesus and all the apostles, I am a writer. I, in fact, I can't stop writing books. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to put out a book. I don't know what I was thinking when I said I wasn't a writer. I can't stop writing. I, I have been write. struck. I have been struck, and I am now a writer. I'm on my fifth book, Jesus. Then I would I'm say, channeling, I'm channeling the books. Okay, that would be then great. Go forth and get a publisher a thousand percent. Really, if you're in your third, fourth, fifth book and this is like a thing, some people start their own publishing company. So there's a lot That's of different directions you can go. Mark my words right here on Facebook me starting a publishing company. No, no. Hashtag God not bless. a publishing company. Hashtag we love Louise Hay. Rest in peace. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. So that is my recommendation. Okay. It really okay. is because from Amazon, you can run all the stuff 
the after book stuff and be very, very successful. And if you were to speak, and we all know, Siddiqui, that you're a speaker, and let's say, I'm going to give you a little secret here. Let's say you're going to go speak in front of 100 people, right? And uh, it could be a free speak. Maybe you're being paid. I don't know. But you could tell the event coordinator, as part of the contract for me to speak, I would like you to buy a book for everybody in the audience. Now, let's say your book costs $20, right? But your wholesale on Amazon is $3. This person just paid you, let's say there's 100 people, 20 books. Oh, my God, we have to do math. Okay, wait. That wait, seems okay, like... Give me the formula and we'll, we'll try. I believe that's $2,000, right? 20 books for a hundred, a $20 book for 100 people, $2,000. Okay. But okay. you are only paying wholesale. $3 a book. Correct, Amundo. So you just paid three hundred dollars. You had all the books shipped to this event, and you got paid two thousand for the the books that everybody got. I'm just giving you a little well, tip. Isn't that a twenty seven hundred dollar profit? That is a seventeen hundred dollar profit. Okay. This is why we're blondes and beautiful. So forgive us. This is us why about. we're blondes. <laughs> Do not ever hire either one of us to do math. We're doing our best. <laughs> we're doing our best. 1700 but 1700 that's pretty cool. You know, and if yeah. you were paid on top of her, people bought your packages yeah. or your, you yeah. know, all the, the amazing things you give people with. So I'm just saying that the plat there is so much you could do with that platform out. Okay. Speaking of incredible things that don't require a lot of, you know, that blondage, the Dover, <laughs> not to be confused with bondage, although there is some of that in my book, I want you to know. There is awesome. definitely I'm ready for that some chapter. woman on woman bondage action in my book. Maybe that's the first chapter I'll read you guys next week. Tune in next week for the woman. Okay, but anyway, side note. So um, I, I read an email that you sent out to your list because I'm on your list about uh, get your buck get your buck done get your book done in 30 days 60 days 60 days see so not good no, with me kill you <laughs> better than two years though <laughs> <laughs> okay so when you say and my first thought was like what kind of book could I get done in 60 days mm. I love that question yeah that was I'm just gonna be honest with you here I was like what kind of book could I get done in 60 days? Yeah. You know, this is a you decide kind of thing. Uh, people are bringing all sorts of books to the online class. It's a live class with me every okay. week. You'll be okay. with me for 90 minutes. And people are bringing memoirs. People are bringing self-help books. People are bringing, I'm trying to remember, business books, children's books, coffee table. Like, whatever. Here's the bottom line. It's whatever is in your heart okay. to get out. Okay. I am doing the class for one reason, and it was um, frustration and compassion. Because what I do is the side that makes people really visible. You know, so I have my cache of clients. But when people learn what I do, I often hear, oh, God, I always wanted to write a book. Oh, yeah, I started writing and I just never finished. Oh, I, I would love to write a book, but I don't even know where to start. So I hear this a lot, and it crushes my heart. Because mm -hmm. I figure if you have a book inside of you, then it is mm -hmm. meant to be out in the world as a gift, as a service. Yeah. Some people do it for their business. Some people just do it to express themselves for a legacy, to leave for your family, kids, whatever. Or just it's on your damn bucket, bucket list, you know? Right. I right. decided to make this class available this one time only because I want to assist those people who are dying to write, don't know how to write. That's awesome. And want it to be a good book. That's awesome. And so 60 days, just, right, you can totally either do a book. Not, not have any pre existing material and just have like the I need to write a book itch, or you can come with the wet hot mess that you have. And <laughs> <laughs> do a Hail Mary pass 
and get it to, get it to the end goal in 60 days. Is that what you're saying? Thousand percent. Yes. Wow. That's it, awesome. It's good. You know, I'm giving people exercises and there's a free orientation before the class starts once they register okay. because I really want people to have the idea of their book. The idea is all that matters. Okay. Then once we're together, you know, the first class is basically breaking down a book. So okay. I'm going to teach everybody how to do that. And once you see how it's laid out, it's going to be like, yeah, of course. Okay. And then the rest is you're never alone. I mean, I there's a Facebook page just privately for our class. I'm there to support everybody. There's accountability partners. And every week is another piece because I don't want it just to be like, I'm writing, I'm writing. Because right. everybody can do that. Anyone can do that. I mean, we're going to even talk about where you can write how to write, what time to write, what to do in order that you will write, uh, what to do if you have writer's block. I, I talk about all that, but the, one of the most important things is going to be creating a page turner because I want your book to be amazing. That's I right. want you to yeah. feel like it's great when you get it out in the world. Yeah. I'll tell you one of the recommendations that you need to make to that class is do not go off caffeine while you're trying to write a book. Mm -hmm. That was a big mistake. Caffeine is a really big motivator in writing the book. So you mentioned that there's a free, a free, what was the free thing? Yeah, it's funny you mentioned caffeine because there is a webinar, a free webinar that people can sign up for. And it's an hour and 24 minutes of massive amounts of information. And it's fun information. But the very thing you're talking about, I know you're joking about the caffeine, but it literally goes through if it's your time, let's say you've promised to write and you're going to sit down and something comes up in your space, exactly how to deal with it. And I give 12 different ways and there's going to be that's at least good. two that work that's for you. Really, that's super helpful. No, I'm not joking about caffeine. I did give up caffeine and I noticed that like the brain doesn't fire as quickly as it did. You know, the caffeine like really fueled the creativity. So I, I was, I was joking, but not joking. Um, so that's free. I think you sent me the link, so I'll include that for everybody here. And then if they wanted to actually start the course, because I'm going to sign up for the course because I need a loving boot in the booty. When <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, the book dominatrix. When does, when does, when does, this, when does this book bondage class start? The it 60 starts days on of book bondage. <laughs> or whatever you're calling it. It's called How to Write a Book in 60 Days. So it's okay. So there's no bondage included with the 60 day package. No, there is a lot of lovage and there's carriage and there is um, creativage okay. <laughs> <laughs> and writing age, authorage. Okay. There, awesome. um, it is, it's starting on September 26th, Tuesday. It is global. So you can sign up from anywhere in the country, frankly, anywhere in the world. Obviously, there are replays after everything. I am asking people, I'm asking the big question, if I show up live every week to teach and support you, will you show up live in support of you and your book? So as much as is humanly possible, I mean, obviously, if your auntie's getting married, that's that. But as much as is possible, I, I really am there to support and work with people. Um, there's so many interesting people coming on, healers and all sorts of things. And I want to say, I also have a guest expert that I've aligned to come on one of the calls, um, call number five, because I want everybody to learn from somebody who does this for a living and mm -hmm. is going to give away tips and tricks that we would never learn otherwise. And here's the super uber cool thing. Once we're deep into the class, we're going to have an opportunity, much like you're doing on Facebook Live, for people in the class to read their work for mastermind feedback. Oh, and with this expert, of course, we're going to get big time feedback on our work. Amazing. So, yeah, it, I'm telling you, in this feedback, when we get feedback, it's, it's a voice we wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah. And it's not a critical voice, and it's not a, oh, you're so amazing voice all the time. It's just somebody who's going to come in with a really discerning eye and ear to say, that's phenomenal, and have you thought about this? Or have you thought, maybe you could, things that might explode our brain, like this brainstorming we were talking about, that could be really potentially huge for you as an author and for your book. So there's tremendous support. Um, eight weeks live with me. Get your book done. That's all I'm talking about. And I'm so, really only doing this once.
get your book done from anywhere in the world is basically what you're saying. So hashtag no excuses. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> no Just excuses. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. So I think, I think that's it. I'll put the links in the, um, in the section, but it sounds like whatever kind of book we have, I mean, I have a memoir that's kind of turning into a fiction book actually, mm -hmm. um, truth be told. Um, but whether someone has a science book or a how-to manual or a self-help or science fiction or whatever it is, they can come to this class. Um, they can start with the free one to find out more information, but come to the 60 days and they can just get it done. Amazing. A thousand percent. Yeah. And I highly recommend sign up on the free webinar because I'm giving reports away I'm giving Important. audios away. I mean, honestly, I'm not even remembering how much the team put together, but they were really clear about helping people and being of service. Yeah. So when you sign up, you are going to get a lot of goodies and each piece, nothing's replicated. It's not like you're going to hear in the webinar that you get in the report. I mean, it's all mo, mo, mo information. Mo, mo, mo. Yeah, well, you're yourself. really a genius. I mean, you've been on the radio. You have this award-winning radio show. And I'm sure that whatever you put together as that freebie package is just like loaded, loaded content. So I'm super excited to listen to your voice. Give me the wisdom. And um, I'm wondering if anybody, I don't know if people can yeah, ask questions. 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 I don't know if they can ask questions. Um, if we can see, can you see questions? No, I can't yeah. see. I can only see I the love and stuff. It's, I think I saw a comment earlier. If, if someone wants to ask Debbie or myself a question, Debbie, um, or Kathleen or someone that's on, will you guys try to type a question so that I can see it um, and see if this Facebook Live joint venture, if you can ask a question, it seems like you should be able to. Um, I don't know. We're both we're we're both new to this. Um, Debbie says, love this. Okay. Yeah. So I can, so I can see the questions. If you want to ask Debbie a question, type me a question, anything you want to ask. And if you single, ask a question, we're both, we're both single. If you guys wanted to ask that, <laughs> yep, yeah, both single. <laughs> if you ask a question, you will win this bully stick. A dog. So it could be for your dog or I won't ask questions. If, Do I don't you guys know, you know what a bully stick is? <laughs> she taught me. Okay. Will I rebroadcast this? Yes. I will rebroadcast this. And in fact, thank you for asking, Kathleen. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. So I'm going to put it up on my YouTube channel. And then Debbie will also have it. But I will. Um, it will be posted to both my public page and to my private page as a repost. So yes. And Kathleen, do you have any questions? Because you have me and you have Sneaky right now. Kathleen is amazing. She's a scientist. She's an illustrator. She's, she's amazing. I'd love to see a book from Kathleen. Um, not to put you on the spot, Kathleen, but um, seriously, amazing woman. An illustrated Oh, my God. I'll read that. Yeah. Yeah. Serious genius. From well, Minnesota, I don't you know? Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, what about, um, should we get our little puppets? Maybe yes. They have a let's end, let's end with a moment of cuteness. One moment. We got salt and pepper. Salt and pepper in the house. Salt and pepper in the house. Write your book. Write, Write your, your book. book. Hello, write your people, book. write your book. I'm Shelby the dog, and I'm here to say, don't put a bully stick in your way. Hey, <laughs> hey, write uh, something. What is the bully stick? The bully stick is a dried up bull's penis. Poor uh, Shelby's dog. ashamed. She's ashamed that she eats them now. <laughs> All right, we, we talk about everything that's kind of we border on socially inappropriate here on Facebook Live. That's what makes all my broadcasts interesting. It's an emotional ride. It's socially inappropriate, but that's what a bully stick is. Um, so if you see a dog eating, now you know what. Yeah, now you know why what they you're love really them. feeding your dog. This is beyond me. But. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but they love it. They love they it. Love it's like the doggy version of a blowjob. 
You I'm gave Shelby saying. her very first, you and Elfie gave Shelby her very first bully step. She yeah. had been a bully virgin before that. A bully virgin, see? I corrupted your dog, is basically what you're saying. But why do they call it a bully stick? I don't know. There's nothing bullying about it. They love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have, this has totally gone south. <laughs> but we've Write your book. You. Write your book. Write your book, everybody. And if you like this and want us to do more, hey, maybe we will. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe we'll have, we'll talk on other topics. Yeah. Um, all right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a happy Tuesday. Elfie, right here, right at the camera, right there, right there, right there, right there with your cuteness. <laughs> Bye, Shelby. Bye, Shelby. Bye, you guys. Have a good Bye. night. Bye, Debbie. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Siddiqui Ray, Debbie Doshinger. I'm going to put the, um, the links in the post, and I will repost this to my public page and to YouTube. Mwah. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Bye. Debbie. Bye.